This is the Shockbox system up close and personal. This is before I started beating on it. Uh, David did instruct me. When he dropped this off for me to test, he said, James, I would love it if you try to break this. So I held to my word and uh, I did that. But the view of it now, I'll show a picture of it later, is not like this. Uh, this is when it was brand new and nice and pretty. So this cool little device is called a trick stick. Uh, with that latch, you can go ahead and unlock it. And when you unlock it, you can move it to various positions. So as you can see, these motors sit high now. There is no worries about hitting them on anything. Oh yeah, and these belt covers snap on and off. They're not held on by bolts. They literally snap on and snap off. All right, so I went ahead and put the spec sheet up on the screen because to be honest, there are just a lot of big words and letters and numbers all together. And I'm gonna, I've am gonna i already tried, I jumble all of them. So you guys can take a couple seconds while we're doing the underbelly checkout of these trucks and uh, just go ahead and read over it. Um, but, the, but the main thing to take from all these big letters and numbers is that this stuff is made out of really strong metal. Take my word from it. I tried to break it. I could not break these things. And just in case anybody's wondering, I am running 66T gear wheel pulleys with 420 belts. So you will have to run a little bit longer belts with this setup. So are you guys asking yourselves, well, what, what is this? How is this working? It's a great question. The answer to that question is this. It works on a torsion spring. A torsion spring is a type of mechanical spring that stores energy when twisted or torqued. It exerts a force in the opposite direction of the twist, attempting to return to its original position. All right, so while we're on the back end, let's go ahead and go over the weight restrictions. So, so far, it's been tested for riders at 200 pounds with no issues. Also, something to note, the stiffness of the suspension is a relative factor here regarding performance, but not mechanical or functional capacity. And David is also working on a new pivot axle for the shock box with greater preload capacity for heavier riders, lighter and tighter handle pivot component for the trick stick, and a new grip cap component for the custom grip. This should give it a little more integrity. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt.
system, there are springs that set on a pivot arm. So when you get on the acceleration or you get on the brakes, you're either gonna come backwards or you're either gonna go forwards. So it's what I'm gonna go ahead and dub as the seesaw effect. God. All right, let's check some shit. How is everything holding up? Everything I mean, looks... that's kind of surprising, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go try to break it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> hey. I call this the dance. testing the strength of this yeah dude we are so let's tech this thing because i definitely hit something going up that and uh it's fine bro yeah we're good yeah what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna try to make it down this two stair successfully without broken bones you're gonna uh, hop Cole, it i know you could do it i want to see you hop it uh i'm gonna i'm gonna try to preload this sucker bro and catch some air off of it there we go so let's see what this uh thing can do man you ready i'm with you Single? Yep. All right, guys, so uh, we went ahead and put the mad balls on the shock box system with the trick stick. Uh, this is literally my first time on the wheels on this system, so this is gonna be exciting. Kind of excited. Uh, I got Jacob with me. I'm gonna go ahead and
So this is my first time on this system with these wheels, so I'm kind of excited. Uh, I got Jacob with me. I'm going to go ahead and put him up in the corner. Uh, he's helping me out today to get this footage because it's kind of sketchy riding on these roads to show what this can do and filming at the same time. 20, 102 millimeters in diameter. Uh, uh, the pulleys that I'm running are our board bumper pulleys, the 36 T Kegels, and I'm running the 325 millimeter. Is it 325 millimeter? I'm running the 325 belts, uh, which we also sell. They are in stock. I'll go ahead and put both those up on the screen real quick. This would show the suspension. Does it have the 12-4 in it? I'm just burr, 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 so I like it. So real quick before we get too deep into this car footage, I actually changed out the bushings in the setup. So I went barrel, 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 barrel on all of the bushings. Uh, and then, yeah, it still keeps the carvability of the DKPs, but it keeps me stable when I don't wanna go 30. So with all that being said, carving on this setup is a little bit different. Uh, as you'll notice, so when you kind of start carving at higher speeds, as you're carving into the corner, the board sort of leans away from the corner if that makes sense so you'll be carving hillside and the board will kind of lean toe side because of the springs but it just takes a couple miles to get used to that and once you are used to that it's not a deal breaker at all but it's just kind of uh this it's what comes with having the torsion spring set up all right so you may be asking yourself well james what's the fastest that you went honestly uh 32 miles an hour is the fastest that i went on this but i'm really not the type of dude that skates faster than 30 miles an hour uh, i've gone down at 34 and it resulted in a broken hip so i keep my ass under 30 miles an hour so uh for me riding this at, at 25 30 miles an hour the only thing that was a little weird that i had to get used to is if you get on the brakes real hard and you're leaning toe side or heel side the how it feels braking is completely different than how it feels on a traditional skate setup all right guys 
Final thought on the shock bore system with the trick stick. Uh, is this for everybody? Maybe. So uh, first thing, we're gonna talk about the trick stick. Uh, is the trick stick necessary to run the shock bore system? No, it's not, but it is nicer because it allows you to preload the springs and then when you get that pop back up to, to leverage the front wheel up. And if you have the trick stick for the back, you can uh, pop the backside up and you can do bunny hops and uh, it's a lot easier to catch air. Now, if you're not a fan of uh, having both of a, having both your feet strapped in, you can just get the one trick stick and you can go ahead and just put it up front. And uh, what's nice is that with the latching mechanism, you can go ahead and unlock it and swivel it to the front, uh, put it to a different side and not really use it. And then when you're getting, <clears throat> what's nice about the trick stick is that you can go ahead and you get off the board and you use the locking mechanism to unlock the trick stick and you turn it around and you can now use it as a handle to tow your board behind you if you have to go into the store or the gas station. Uh, if you like walking your board across the street in the crosswalk because that's the safe thing to do. So uh, the trick stick. Do you need it to run the shock board system? No, you don't. But in my personal opinion, it really opens up the whole shock board system to fully unlock that MBS style into your two-in-one board. You can also run the trick stick without the shock board system. So say people say that you don't want to install crazy bindings and drill holes into the top of your deck or the top of your lid, or you can't screw holes through there because you don't have enough space in between the top of the lid and the battery so you cannot safely mount uh, straps, you can go ahead and use this system that just goes ahead and secures onto the front of the truck base plate. And uh, you can now have a movable foot strap that also doubles as a towing handle device thing. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the shock board system. So the shock board system runs on torsion springs. There is 40 millimeters of travel on the spring. So that's from when it's all the way compressed to the time that it's all the way decompressed. You have 40 millimeters of travel in between those two points. Uh, the mechanisms are very strong. I, I spent a couple weeks testing this out and honestly uh, trying to break the system. I, I couldn't break it. Uh, everything seems pretty good, but I've probably only put 300 miles on the system. I definitely don't have a thousand on yet, yet, but this 300 that I did was very aggressive riding because David did instruct me when he uh, dropped us off at the shop that uh, he said, hey James, I really want you to try to break this thing. Uh, so I, I did do that. I spent some very aggressive miles trying to break it. And then I spent some miles just doing casual riding, uh, from home to work because I pretty much skate to work every day. So casual riding, check, aggressive riding, check. So who is the shock board system for and who is it not for? This system is for somebody that really wants to take the gnarliness out of the traditional skate set up and along with adding the playfulness of the MBS style board. So now you're launching off of curbs and so torsion springs, 40 millimeters of travel, <clears throat> trick stick that allows for also a towing mechanism, and wheelies. Who doesn't like wheelies? That's pretty gnarly. Up on the screen, we've got the compatibility list. Feel free to pause the video and see if your board is compatible with the setup. If it's not, check back weekly because David is working real hard to make sure that a lot of boards are compatible with his setup. Oh, yeah, that's that's rain. Pretty sure you probably see it on the lens. You see the little droplets? So you can bring that in a shot. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna have to call it on this one on account of rain. We've had a dope ass storm blowing around us for a while. Uh, but it finally hit. So, once again, thanks for watching my channel. This is Skate Concentrate. I'm James. Skate safe. Have a good day.